Part 25, Baptism and God's Grace. How important is baptism? It is very important. Christ told his disciples to go and teach all nations, baptizing them. And in Mark 16, 16, he said this, He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved, but he that believeth not shall be damned. Jesus said, Water baptism is essential for salvation. Our Lord's cross, which all realize is of inestimable importance, is mentioned 28 times in the New Testament, but baptism is mentioned over 100 times. Let none treat it as a non-essential. Baptize comes from the Greek word baptizo, which means to dip, submerge, or immerse. This was the form used with Jesus, and full immersion is the proper form of baptism. Why? Because it symbolizes Christ's total burial in the tomb and his resurrection up out of the grave. For a Christian, it means you begin a new life in Christ. Your old life is buried in the water, and you begin life anew in God's eyes. Accordingly, sprinkling or having water poured on you is not proper baptism. Man can perform no act in God's eyes in which man by himself can earn his own salvation. We must accept Christ's free gift of grace. We must wear his robe of righteousness. If we accept Christ and are baptized, we become spiritual descendants of Abraham and are heirs to the promise. At this point, we receive not only forgiveness, but power to overcome all sin. By partaking of God's grace and divine nature, our lives become fortresses against Satan and sin. Baptism means a glorious walk of victory in Christ. Now, accepting God's grace does not give man the freedom to commit willful sins. See Romans 6 verses 1 to 2. And grace does not negate the Ten Commandments. The law points to sin, so we can identify sin. If a person totally refuses to turn away from a personally cherished sin, that person gradually becomes hardened in transgression. Finally, the Spirit of God finds no response in that part. This condition is called the unpardonable sin. We must, one, recognize our sins, two, confess them, not to a priest, but in prayer directly to God, three, accept Christ's atoning death, and then four, begin a life of obedience in the Word, in the Lord. In doing so, we are saved.